Hi, as I promised to you, this is the explanation of the last video I made. I'm Giovanni, I'm a filmmaker, and recently I'm really, really passionate about this new AI technology. So how I made this last video? It's going to be surprising to you how simple it is the explanation. I'm not expert of coding at all, I'm not expert of softwares, I try to use stable diffusion, deform, but I was not good. As a creative, I prefer to focus more on the creative part. It's not like a, how to make an AI video. It's more like how to make a video. Th that's the first thing that where you have to focus before starting making AI video. For the video of who am I, I use Kyber. And for the post-production and video editing part, I use DaVinci. And I want to say that this video is not sponsored by Kyber. I'm doing this video just because of I wanted to give you an explanation of how I made my last video. The most important rule to me is to have control of what you are making. The best thing is to shoot by yourself the video and to know how to do it. As you can see, I used a softbox light because I wanted to give a uniform light to, to the environment. Probably on this way you can help the AI on understanding better the video. It's going to be easier to detect the environment, the subject and the movements on this way. This time, I prefer to try using a smartphone to record, but for the previous video, I used a professional video camera. To make it easier for the AI, I decided to change my t-shirt to a green one. On this way, I create more contrast with the white wall. For this tutorial, I decided to create three characters. One is Super Mario, one is an Italian mafia guy, and another one is Silvio Berlusconi. This is a response to people who say that my last video is a blackface video. I just want to tell you that to me that's really racist saying that my video is a blackface video because I, I didn't make a joke to anyone. It's not like uh, the, that I want to wear a mask, I want to be someone else. It was just like uh, a performance. Back to our topic, this is Kyber, an AI tool capable of creating animations and videos. For the video to video function, we need to click on create video on the website. And then you have to click on transform an existing video. And on this way, you can upload your video. Describe the subject of your video. As you can see right now, I'm texting an Italian mafia guy. Then text the style you want. As you can see right now, I'm texting photorealistic, realistic, cinematic, because I want something realistic. But you can text uh, like cartoon if you want something more cartoon, like Super Mario. Check the value of transform it should be 10. Kyber is going to give you four options to choose from. Select the preview that you like the most. And here is your final result. Download it and import it on DaVinci or a generic video editing software. After editing the videos, look for the, the flicker filter in the effects of DaVinci and apply it four times on each clip, switching the, the flicker settings from time lapse to floral light. And this is the final result. So how is it? What do you think about it? Just for make a comparison, I made the same video with a professional camera. So if you use a professional camera, you will definitely have some advantages. The AI will process the image better and the final result will be richer in details. What difference do you see between videos shot with a professional camera and a smartphone? Try to take out your vision, try to focus on that, not just on the technique. Try to understand what you want to say to the world. Because in the future, in the next two, three years, when the AI is going to be really advanced, all these videos we are making right now are going to be obsolete. So you can see your video, you can be proud at you, you can be proud of what you made.